In this lesson, I will give you the overview of an Excel, which is also known by MS Excel, means Microsoft Excel. So how to open this Excel file? The easiest way is that here is the start button or the window button you can see. Just click here, then you see all options are here. With the help of this scroll bar, you can find out where is Excel. Alphabetically, you will see this is Excel. Click here, then you will see this window will open. Another method is just write down, type here to search, write down whatever you want. I say Excel, so you will see Excel app is there. Click here and same thing, a window will open, Excel window will open. Another way is click on the window key on your keyboard. So press the window key same thing will open and then click on excel and then you will see the same window excel window is there now we will see one by one different parts of this window is starting from here so these three options the top one these are called quick access toolbar Right, the first one is the save button. This is called save. This is undo and this is redo. Now, what is the meaning of this undo, redo and save? Suppose here I am going to write down any numbers, right? I wrote these numbers here. After that, I said I do not want this 6543 then you have to click on this undo button and see it's gone same thing if you do not want this number click here it's gone now after that you said oh no I want the first number so this one is the redo button so by default, whenever you will open your Excel file, by default in quick access toolbar, you can see these three options, save, undo and redo. Right here, if suppose you forget, what is the meaning of this? Bring your insertion point here. Then you can see it will give you in the rectangle the name of that feature. This is called save. You can press save here or with the help of your keyboard, press control plus S. Same function will perform with the help of keyboard. This is the undo button. Right? So control plus Z or Z, control plus Z on your keyboard. If you will press, see here, if I will press control plus Z in my keyboard, it's gone. And this is the redo button, control Y. If I will press control Y, the number is again there. So what I said by default, Always you can see these three icons here, but you can customize your quick access toolbar. This is called the quick access toolbar. If you want more options here, yes, you can add. Click this arrow and see if I will say I want to add open file or the new file. So click here. So new is open. If I will click here on the new file, see now I have a new file, Excel file, which I do not want, only I want to show you. So if suppose you do not want these options here, click here and then just click uncheck. Uncheck these, it's gone. Redo and undo gone. So it means that we can customize the quick access toolbar according to our own choice. So I hope this part is clear. Right. Second, second is file, home, insert, page layout, formulas. These are called the tabs. 
right these are called tabs and each tab has different function if i will click on insert see insert has different functions if i will click on data data has different functions so these are called the ribbon these functions are called ribbon see each ribbon all these are divided into different groups the home take the example of a home tab if i will click on home tab this is called the ribbon so ribbon has different command groups this one is called the clipboard you can see this line here this line here this line here right so these are the different group this is called the clipboard group in clipboard group we have cut copy paste and format painter functions in font group we have bold italic underline color and so many things font font size in alignment group we have wrap text merge and center and so on so click on different tabs each tab has different functions and these functions are divided into different groups which are called the command group this is the zoom group window group right show group and so on then we have this is called the formula bar which i will explain to you how it works in the next few lessons right this is called the formula bar and then these are a b c d and so on these are called the columns vertically these are columns and these are called the rows 1 2 3 4 and so on these are called rows right so here i have written suppose i will make it simple right 456 or 7 or like this only to show you i am just going to give you some example so okay so see here this is 456 and i have written if someone will ask you what is the cell reference individually this one is called a cell one cell this one is a cell this one is a cell right vertically all these is called the columns horizontally these are rows but individually it is called cell if i say 54 what is the cell reference means where i have written 54 so always keep in mind first you have to say the column name this is i h i and then here is fifth row so you have to say i 5 do not say 5 i always you have to say first column if i will say what is the cell reference of 76 means where i have written this 76 so first of all you have to check column column is h you can see here h and then row is 10 so it means h 10 always you have to say column first h 10 but again if you have any problem to find out right here suppose if i will write down one number here 56 is here right i can make it bold so you can see and i will say what is the cell reference sometimes it is difficult right because okay why and then from here instead of 17 maybe you will see 18 you will say why 18 which is wrong it is it is why 17 so the easiest way is you can check here this is called the name box so in name box you can see why 17 is there it means the cell reference is why 17 cell reference means where i have written this 56 if i will say what is the cell reference of 456 right so just click here instead of saying the e column or 7 e7 check this name box in name box e7 so you can say that e7 is the cell reference for this one e8 is the cell reference so if it is difficult then you can check your answer by seeing the 
name box. This is called the name box. Right. And then we have sheets here. This is called the workbook and workbook has different sheets. You can add by default. Always the name of a sheet is sheet one. If you want, you can add more sheets. Suppose if you want to work on the second sheet, just click on this plus sign. Click on this plus. We have sheet number two. Do some work here. Write whatever you want. Then you want to add sheet three. Just click on the plus sign and sheet three. And here you can write down whatever you want. See by default the names are sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3. If you want to change the name then what you have to do. Suppose you want to give some name to sheet number 1. The easiest way is double click. Right and write down here we are, uh, we are practicing. So practice. Sheet 1 name is practice. See it's changed. Sheet 2, you want to give different name to sheet 2. So the easiest way is double click. Another way is right click and then rename. And here I say practice 2. Right, third one. Double click and then P3. Whatever name you want, you can give to your sheets as well. And then these are called the, these are the horizontal or vertical scroll bar. And these three are the workbook views. This is the normal view. This is the page layout view. Again, we will discuss in the next few lessons. And this one is our page breakdown, right? If again, you will forget the name, bring your cursor, it will show you. This is the normal view. This is the page layout view. This is the page break preview, right? Okay. Now, now what these options are from here, you can close it. From here, you can minimize it. Here, you can restore it. Right. This is the important. What is the meaning of this ribbon display? This is the tab and these are the functions. So open this. Right. If you want to see only tabs, we want to see only tabs. We do not want these ribbon. So click show tab and see only tabs are there. If you want your functions or ribbon should be there, then again here and then show tabs and commands as well. So now we have the commands as well. Open this again, auto hide ribbon. If you do not want to see the tabs, right? Sometimes it happens when we work, sometimes our tab or ribbon disappears. So do not worry. Do not say that we do not have ribbon or we do not have tabs. Just go there and then show tabs and commands. Again, everything is back. Right? So the I hope the overview is clear to you. Please practice it. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next lesson and thank you.